Hi, this is Nikaraz of Creative 111 here with Boris Effects to bring you a very exciting tutorial on working with VR units inside of Avid Media Composer. In this movie, we're gonna take a look at three filters. We're gonna take a look at VR Sharpen, VR Flicker Fixer, as well as VR Blur. The immersive 360 VR video market continues to grow with more outlets for viewing spherical video and affordable new 360 cameras coming to market regularly. 360 video content is found on all different types of mainstream portals, including YouTube and the New York Times, and runs the gamut from narrative entertainment and broadcast journalism to live sporting events and much, much more. Editing and finishing 360 VR video requires specialized tools to process spherical video formats. Avid Media Composer does not have this natively, and we want to make sure we can be able to work in 360 directly within it, and that's where BCC VR units come in. Not only can we work with it inside of Avid Media Composer, but it's also cross-platform compatible, meaning that if we had someone who was working in DaVinci Resolve for finishing our project, we could share our filters and effect presets with them. Let's hop inside of Avid Media Composer and see how these three filters. I have a custom timeline open up that contains some of my 360 spherical video. And the first thing we're going to take a look at VR blur. A lot of times people ask, why can't you use a regular blur on 360 video? Let me move my playhead to my first clip. And I've actually added a regular blur from Avid on this clip from the image category. If we take a look at this clip, if I select it and go to my effect mode, we'll see here that there are two effects. There's the blur effect, the regular blur effect applied, and I applied the VR reorient tool. This will allow me to preview my 360 material directly inside of Avid Media Composer. Now if I press the disclosure triangle and head down to my view mode preview section, if I start to move around my preview left and right, just notice that there is a seam across my video. And this is because we're taking this blur effect, which is meant for flat video, and trying to have it wrap around a spherical footage, and it just doesn't work. We need a VR aware effect in order to accomplish this. If I remove my effects currently on this shot, I'm gonna head over to my video effects. I've already done a search for VR, and here I can find my BCC VR blur. Apply it to the first clip in my timeline. We can see that it's applied and we get these lovely on-screen controls to blur both the X and Y axes separately. If I go into my effect editor, notice that I can control these here as well. Another great part is that you can go into a comparison mode to compare side by side what your clip looked like before and after and choose to wipe or slide the footage to see various portions of it. If we combine this effect with our BCC VR reorient effect and go back to my effect editor, we can see here that if we preview our footage and start to move around left and right, that indeed there is no seam there on our blur. This is VR aware. This not only works on 360 footage, but 180 in both monoscopic as well as stereoscopic. Another effect that we need for working with 360 video is your ability to sharpen your image. A lot of times when you look at 360 spherical content in a head mounted display, your footage is gonna look a lot softer. Same is true when you're viewing content on YouTube. If we go into our VR category again and select VR sharpen effect, I'm gonna drop that onto the first clip in my timeline. We can see here that it immediately provides some amazing sharpening across our video clip. If I go into my effect editor, there are some on-screen controls to work with the amount of sharpening directly in the composer window, as well as there are general controls to affect not only the strength of the sharpen, but the fine details that are within your shot, making sure that they are preserved and that they don't break down. Overall, this VR sharpen can go a long way to make sure that your footage looks that much better when you experience it in a head mounted display or on social media. As you can see, sharpening can go a long way to provide a better experience for viewing content on social media or in a head mounted display so that your 360 content doesn't become soft. Very similar to the VR blur, keep in mind that you can also work with this on stereoscopic footage. Last but not least, every once in a while with prosumer 360 cameras, flicker occurs across a clip. Let me just show you the last clip in my timeline, a stereoscopic 
top and bottom clip where you can see that there's quite a lot of flicker going on in the shot. In order to remove that flicker, what we're going to do is head over to where our filters are located and I'm going to apply the flicker fixer to this shot here in the timeline. Once I do, I'll head into my effect editor as we've done before with the previous effects and choose a method to apply to remove the flicker. I'm gonna choose Temporal Smooth YCC. And if we need to go into the Temporal Smoothing Controls, we have a variety of parameters to choose from to make the smoothing that much more effective, such as increasing the smoothing as well as the color range across our clip. Here's a full screen preview of the flicker now removed from the shot. Inside the effect, there are also comparison modes where you can see the before and after results. And those are some amazing 360 filters available from Boris Effects that you can use directly inside of Media Composer as well as share cross platform. Download your VR units today by going to BorisFX.com. Check Boris Effects out on all social media platforms. I'm Nick Haraz from Creative 111. Thanks so much for watching.